What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog Adventure. Tonight we're on Quarry Road, the Haunted Quarry Road, 12 a.m. challenge. Uh, I got Yimmy over here with me. I'm not sure where Yimmy's at. Right There's Yimmy. How you doing, guys? Yeah. What's up, Yimmy? What's up? So, we are going to go out and check out the Haunted Quarry Road. So let's get this adventure on the road. Yeah, we just barely started this challenge and we've already heard some strange stuff out here. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Quarry Road, if you didn't see our last video, the urban legend is that there's a ghost car that drives up and down this road. Uh, you hear it, but you don't see it. And there's also like a phantom scream out here. I don't know if it's really a phantom scream or not, but it's some kind of like howl scream, kind of like a banshee or something like that. That's the best way I can describe it. Some people say maybe like a Bigfoot howl, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head up the Quarry Road. Right up there at the top of the quarry is a haunted mine. So I don't know if you can see it right now. Up there where those lights are at, that's the mine. So we're gonna head up the road here. Also brought my K2. Yimmy has his new K2. Let's check out Yimmy's K2. Let me turn, there it goes. It's all digital. So we're not getting any readings yet. It's working a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go up the road here and see what's going on. So yeah, we're just gonna take our time walking up the road because it's kind of a steep grade. And if we start huffing it up there, we're going to... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It'll be hard to walk up there, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk up there and then we'll come walking back down. Yeah, if you haven't seen the la uh, if you didn't see the last haunted quarry road video that I did with Marnay, we caught that scream. It was faint, but we caught it. So if you go and see that video, it's on the replay parts. You'll have to listen really good. Um, I always recommend using headphones uh, to watch our videos at night that we come out and do our paranormal adventures with. Kind of like vape juice or something. It smells kind of musty back here. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I got like, I think right up there by that tree or something, and I heard like a knock coming from out of the hill. That's that was probably a Sasquatchy. Maybe. A little squatchy. A little squatchy. Squatchy. Wash your body parts with soap. Or how's that commercial go? Something like that. <laughs> Squatch soap. I do. I've got the Bronco brick. Bronco brick? Yeah. Chance to win the free Bronco. Heck yeah. Why not, right? Exactly. It sounds like a car. Maybe it's a jet. Yeah, we're not even really into the quarry road yet. Uh, we still have a little ways to go before we get there. It gets pretty woodsy and uh, it gets pretty creepy too. Like I said, it sounds like a car. It sounds like a car comes down this road. I think that's an owl that I'm hearing right now. No, just when you start walking, it sounds like there's a car coming up the road or down the road. Yeah. Uh, last time Marnie and I were out here, we heard footsteps following us. Really? Yeah. Very nice. Crickets. A cricket. It's a clear night out here too. Yep. See the stars up there maybe. Uh, not really. Yeah, it's pretty clear out tonight and it's cold out here tonight. 
We just had a storm front move through. Yesterday, what was it, like 80 degrees out yesterday? No, it was 92. Oh, it was 92 yesterday. And they're calling for a freeze warning tonight. And it's called for a freeze warning tonight. Um, yeah, dropping down to about 32 degrees, if not a little bit colder. Uh, it was about 60 this afternoon. Pretty cold here in the mountains. Is that a train? Yeah. Wow. Dang. The world would be a train. That's weird. It's strange. Because there's no trains that are even close to this area. No. Now, I don't know if you guys are hearing that or not, but we're hearing a train off in the distance. And there's no trains even remotely close to this area. Do you think it comes from that mine up there? No, mine's just right up there. Yeah. Do they have like in? No, they don't have a train. Or no, they don't have any, like any kind of train system up no, there. No, it's that's coming from down in the valley. Wow, that's a ways away. See, listen. This is a 12 a.m. challenge. We're out here on the Haunted Quarry Road. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, great. I'm gonna pull this away from the right charge. Watch the K2 meter. Anything going on with your K2? No, not yet. Yeah? That just spiked. Jamie. <clears throat> Jimmy has a digital K2, so when it hits the red, it beeps. Um, you'll hear a beep out of it once it hits the red. Uh, my K2 doesn't hit, uh, when it hits red, it doesn't beep. So I'm going to show everybody. And it's staying on solid green. Right back there, beat. Pull out my K2. Oh, oh. oh mine's spiking. How about yours? Yeah, it's starting to. Yeah. 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 It did. Let's see if we can catch both of them at the same time. That's weird. Mine was spiking. Yeah, so was mine. Didn't hit red, it was going up to yellow. Yeah, mine was mine was hitting pretty good on the orange. Yeah. Oh jeez, mine just went off again. Did it? Yeah. Keep an eye on it. Start spiking. Get it over there. Oh, mine's spiking again. Oh, yep, so is mine. I don't think it's ours sitting no, off. No. no. Uh oh. -uh. No, it just spiked again. I heard something right there, too. Right up in there. Wow, okay. Oh, him is just shut beeping. Off. Did it shut off? Mm hmm. All by itself. Well, that's not good. No. Nope. Got a new battery in it. It just shut off like I pressed the button. Oh, wow. Spiking. Oh, it's starting. No, it stayed green. Went up a little bit, but it's stay. It's, it's pretty steady there on green. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. It's fucked up a little bit. Huh. We are getting closer to the mine, though. Yeah. Watch out, there's a big dip here. Yimmy. Yeah, oh, big spikes. Yeah, of course, we can already get. Oh, yeah. I saw you. Oh, boy. That's solid there. Wow. Yeah, those were some solid spikes on Yimmy's K2. And we're almost at the bottom of that haunted mine. Uh, we can't get into that haunted oh, mine. All the way to the top. Yeah, we can't get into the haunted mine. No, uh, it spiked all the way to the top. Oh, it spiked all the way to the top? Yep. So, yeah, we can't get to the haunted mine because the city owns it. And it's all private up there. Private property by the city. Another big, no. Yeah, I hear it going off. I just chilled out. I wonder what mine's doing. So I can get, a big time. So I can get my camera or my flashlight, my camera together. That thing just keeps going off like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pop mine. There it goes again. Yeah. You too. You too. You too. <laughs> Yours is spiking, but mine's not. That's weird. That is weird. Mine should be spiking as well. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mom. I'm not your mom. I don't like this part of the road at all. Big spike again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mine was spiking too. I think this is right about where that car went off that one time. And there's some tragedy that happened here. Yeah. At one point, um, there was a car that uh, had missed one of the turns up here and went flying off the edge of the hill over here. And this is a steep rolling hill over here. Um, and the driver and the passenger, the passenger got thrown out and the, uh, passenger was injured really bad, but survived. But the driver was injured badly enough that he passed away from the injuries and is right about in this area somewhere. I don't know if you can see how that hill steeps down. You can see the nice thing is, is put it in front of the flashlights and I'm picking up flashlight. Yes. Anything like that. So those. Our flashlights are not setting the K2s off. Can you believe you can grab this oh, shut up. <laughs> Advertisements, those are awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to be quiet over here so we can hear what's going on out here, but uh, <laughs> but Yumi's having technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, Yumi's back, so we should be good to go for a little while. Uh, but yeah, we've been trying to be a little bit quiet so we can hear what's going on. Jim. That's never good. Jim, who's with you? I'm always mysterious. I keep to myself. Yeah, the last time Marnane and I were up here, we found some eggs up here, eggshells. Oh, really? Yeah.
they're from. Yeah. I think maybe geese because there's a lake down there, a pond or something. Yeah, dry lake. Yeah, dry lake. And uh, I think it's probably some geese eggs. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Oh, that's a jet flying over. Yep. Oh, look, Amy, here's those eggs. Oh, yeah. Some of them. I think there's more of them up there. This is where Marnie and I were hearing all that crazy shit last time, too. I don't know what that was. Dude. There's something down there. Hear it? Uh-huh. Oh, my hair's standing up on it. I'm not seeing any eye shine. Me neither. Dude, look. There's those eggs. Yeah. There's something down there though. And this is where we heard that howl at last time. Dude, that's, that, that was wow. So I don't know if it got caught on the camera back there, but something rustled through the trees and then it was down on the ground, uh, down below us, rustling around. We couldn't see it. All we could do is hear it. There's something down there. We don't know how big, how small. It could be part of the urban legend too. We don't know. I'm just hoping it got caught on camera so you could hear it. And I'd like to remind you that's the same spot where Marnie and I heard that strange howl on the last video. There's a cargan. I wonder if that's not the traffic from the pass. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I bet it is. That, that probably was, yeah. Folks are getting... Did you hear that pop up there? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is like by far the worst spot. This is like one of the most haunted spots. You got your K2, Yimmy? Yep. Pull out your K2. Will you please? Pull out mine as well. Uh, oh, you went to yellow. Hey. Oh. Mine just spiked in the. Yep, I'm on spiking again. 
Yep. It was. Now, if ours starts spiking simultaneously at the same time, or together, that's bad news bears. Because them doing it separately could just be fluctuations. Yeah, I heard that spike on your camera, and then I heard something over here. Or uh, the spike off your K2, and then I heard something over here. Because with this spot of the Haunted Quarry Road, we're pretty much right next to the quarry. And some strange stuff happens here. Yeah, like I said, if you were watching my last quarry uh, road video, we were right here when we were hearing all that other strange stuff too. This is like one of the hottest spots in this entire road right here, is where we're at right now. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's really strange. And that's the thing, uh, laugh if you want to, believe what you want, what you believe is entirely up to you, but there has been a lot of Bigfoot reports come out of this area uh, of our canyons uh, up here at the top of Sardine Pass. We've had a, quite a few Bigfoot uh, reports. Some say sightings, some say just reports that they've heard strange stuff. We've been able to catch some strange stuff. So what it is, don't know. Is it Bigfoot? Don't know. But is it strange? Yes. Just, I don't know. This is a creepy part of the woods, man. Yeah, because I hear you over there wheezing a little bit. Yeah. I was just wondering. I was hoping you're. Make sure you're doing okay. Yeah, I know I'm doing good. Oh, that's crazy. If you can see that light up there, that's the moon poking through the trees. I just really got me bug bugged out right here. This is a creepy spot, man. This is where this is the part of the road where our urban legend actually spawned from, uh, where it became an urban legend. Give you a quick look around so you can see how our ghost car road looks. What's that? Is that light up there? The moon's up there, and the, no, the moon's up there. Huh? Yeah, the moon's over there, and those are the mine lights. You sure about that? I think so. It's yellow. Oh, yeah, that is. Cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's a quick look at our haunted quarry road. How you can see how the trees just come together. It's pretty creepy. Don't 
pretty. <laughs> it's creepy, creepy. that my ears just popped. Mine too. That's another thing that makes it difficult. Uh, when you're climbing, when you're in elevation like this climbing, your ears have a tendency to get plugged up so you can't really hear the sounds around you very clearly. Um, so all I can really do is hopefully rely on the video to uh, hopefully catch the sound that we heard or we thought we heard. Yep. So there's the mine right up there. I'll go over here a little bit farther where you can kind of see it and we'll maybe back there and I'll zoom it in some for you guys. That's the mine. So right back up there behind me is the haunted mine. That's it right there. We can't get up in there like I was saying. It's up on the hill and as soon as you get to the edge of the mine right there, there's a big fence, private property. It's, like I said, it's no trespassing. It's owned by the city. So if we were to step foot in there, we'd be in big trouble. Oh yeah, so you got cameras. Yeah, yeah they have like uh. I think they have night vision cameras up in there too, don't they? Yeah, yeah they got cameras and all kinds of surveillance equipment. Uh, it's so, still an active mine. And it's still an active mine, so we're, we're most definitely not allowed in that area without getting into serious trouble. It's all right in there. <laughs> there it is. Hear it? Mm -hmm. The car? That has to be from the past, though. It might be. It has to be. There it is. Hear it? Mm -hmm. The car? Mm -hmm. That has to be from the past, though. It might be. It has to be. So, yeah, another thing is you never want to come out and do this alone. You always want to have a friend with you. That's that's why Yumi's always here with me. It's always great to have him. Huge shout out to Yumi. You know, it's my pleasure. Thank you, Yumi. You betcha. Oh. <laughs> oh, do we have to go through that creepy part again? We do, Yumi. Yes, sir, we do. <laughs> oh. Yes, well, little Bobby, we do. <laughs> <laughs> If something comes, at least I can turn into a basketball and roll down the hill. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be a basketball, but probably roll down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was, before I lost the 30 pounds, I, I referred to myself as the human basketball. <laughs> Bouncing, not so sure about no, rolling, no yes. Or yes. <laughs> soccer ball, whatever you want. <laughs> you know what we need to do through this part. What time is it? Time to do a split box. Well, that one feels right. That has to be traffic from the pass. Yeah. That's loud too. Wait, wait. Can you cut your box real quick? Yeah, that's, yeah, because that's the pass there. You hear something? Yes. Yeah. I heard a couple of sticks break.
Okay, we're good. King Kong ain't got shit on us. <laughs> Might shit on us. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> if you see a big brown lump hit us, you know exactly who it was. Sasquatch. Yep. <laughs> I keep hearing pops up in there. Where's Marnie? She's working. Yo, that's what it just said. Oh, where's Marnie? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, she's working. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to let Marnie know that the road was asking for her this time around. Yeah. She's like, hey, you know, we went back up to the quarry road, and the road's like, hey, where's Marnie? She's like, she's working. We said her name again. <laughs> it did. Ooh. I don't like that one. Not a whisper. No, not at all. We don't run, we're cautious. Big difference. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Did you hear what that one said? Okay, we're shutting it off. No, I didn't hear what that one said. Oh, that's not good. Well, there's an urban legend. Uh, there's an urban legend that's not too far from here. Um, the urban legend is, uh, it's one of the bridges, I think it's Crybaby Bridge that we have out here. The urban legend is uh, a mother, spikes again. a mother said that she thought that the devil had took over her kids, so yeah. that's why she drove off the bridge. Yep. Yeah, that, I don't know, but yeah, the, the chatterbox over there just said devil, so. And like I said, that urban, another urban legend is not too far from where we're at right now. Well, I could have got one like yours with, they had two small rim pods with it. Uh huh. So they're like the size of a cat toy. Oh, the cat balls? Yeah. Yeah, those are relatively effective. Yeah, but I'm like, I want the digital one. Oh, heck yeah. I think with the digital ones, they can be interfered with real easy, like. Oh, these ones? Yeah, the digital ones. I think they can get interfered with really easy with paranormal. Because uh, the the myth and the theory. Well, the myth and theory behind uh, paranormal is they can pull energy from your equipment. Yeah. And uh, drain it. So with something digital, like Yimmy's digital uh, K2, it's possible every time that it kept turning off, something could have been draining it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like with the flashlight here, I have it plugged into a battery bank right now, and it's running strictly off my battery bank because it, it died on us earlier. As soon as we got... His KT's beeping again. This is that same spot we heard that noise at. Mm -hmm. And the flashlight's freaking out. You can see it kind of shuddering in the camera. It's gone. Yeah, now it's gone. This is where we heard the noise on the way up. Yeah, that thing was Screw creepy. Whatever was that? Hey. That was. Feels like every time I get into this spot right here, something's watching us. Yeah, I know. The hair on the back of my neck stand up. Yeah. 
There's one time uh, Marnie and I come out here to the lower part of the road, um, the ghost car part of the road. Oh, oh. Gimme's K2 is going off again. I can see that or not. It's an owl again. He's gone. But yeah, the last time that Marnie and I come out here, well, actually, the first time Marnie and I came out here, we saw something big. It was quiet, it was huge. It jumped over the over a fence. We didn't hear anything of it. It didn't make a sound of anything, but it was big, it was massive. It scared the bejeebers out of yeah. us. Cause it, it was, whatever it was, it was huge. We both saw it too. Camera didn't catch it, but our eyes saw it. We saw just the shadow of it go over the fence. It was a jack of bubble loop. Jack of bubble loop. Whatever that is, I have no idea. It's made it up. It's a jackalope. Hey, that's what lives out here is a jackalope. Jackalope. That's Wyoming. Oh, that's Wyoming? That's Dang. Men are men and sheep are nervous. Dang. Well, it could be here in yeah, Utah. Could, yeah, yeah. You know, we're close enough to Wyoming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, another spike. I heard it. Hey. Oh, they just shut it off again. Yeah, it just shut off again. There it goes. And the flashlight's going crazy, too, when you turn it off. It's flickering. Our lights are flickering. Yep. That's weird how just right in certain spots it shut it off. Yeah, it seems like the hotter spots too. Yeah. Do you have a free hand to, to hold uh, my K2? Yeah. Because see if mine acts up on you too. There you go. Sold them together. Yeah. To see together that it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's weird. Ooh, that's brighter. Yeah, that's weird. I should have turned it back on. Because that lights a thousand lumens. Yeah. And yours is 2,000. Mm -hmm. So together we have a really great picture. <laughs> so that's like 3,000 lumens. It's almost like Yankee Stadium over here. Lit up. Come on, let's see you spike it. And there you keep going across the front of us and swirling around us. I hear the wind blowing through the trees. We're gonna have to go by St. Andrew Retreat one of these days too. Yeah. The only reason why I don't really want to go there is because that's already a confirmed haunted location. Oh yeah, yeah, no. I like uh, Lomia because Lomia is not a confirmed haunted location, but there is activity there. Mm -hmm. Some scary activity. I mean, just around it, not not actually to St. Andrew's Retreat or the nunnery, just around it like Loma and that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Preston Campground is supposed to be haunted like crazy too. Is it? Yeah, because it's right on the other side of St. Anne. Right. I'll have to check it out. I think uh, Preston would be a little bit harder to get into because it's an active campground. It's like right there off the road. Yeah. So I think a lot of people go there. Oh, there's another campground that one go to when it shuts down this winter. It's up at the top of the pass. Uh -huh. um, right up there at the information center, they have a little campground. like. Oh, Summit. Or yeah, right. I sunrise? think it, yeah, sunrise. That's camped there before. How is that place? It's yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's something in there because, like I said, it's a, it's a beautiful campground. But I guarantee it just you know, I've heard knocks in there at night and stuff like that because that's where I used to go before I got divorced with my family. Oh wow. Yeah, I, w I went up there one time and um, I was trying to do a video up there, but my camera lost all the sound. Oh really? But I was hearing strange knocks coming mm -hmm. from that area too. Like I said, it's a beautiful campground. Right 
same spot Marnie got freaked out last time too. She said something jumped out at her. It was right in this freaking spot too. You know what? There's legends of tommy knockers dealing with mines and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if this mine doesn't have tommy knockers. Well, it probably does. Some kind of knockers. Yeah. Tommy knockers. Tree knockers. Yeah, something. Yeah, if you don't know what Tommy knockers are, I'll get into that in another video. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on something like that because there is a mine up in left hand fork that we'll have to go camping by. Um, it's an abandoned mine. Uh, we were able to get up to it, but the thing with a mine is you don't want to go exploring a mine because they're unstable. They're dangerous as all can be. There's a mine up by uh, Beaver Creek Lodge up the canyon too. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe we'll go up by one of those mines one of these days and I'll give you two around and I'll uh, talk about Tommy knockers in that area. Oh, 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 oh. That's crazy, they're both going off. What the hell is that? I know, but all my hair is standing up again. And it's still going off. This is a hot spot. Our flashlights are freaking out too. Look at that. Oh, okay, let's get moving. No, well, that's well, even there popping off again. Come on. That's staying steady. There's something right here. There is something right here. I just heard something up in here too. Wow. I'm totally chilled up right now. That thing is not shutting up. Dude, it's not stopping. Are you sure that's not a heart monitor? No. Look, <laughs> you can see, look. Oh, mine's even lit up solid, too. And that's solid. It's not even moving. Holy crap. Not good. We need to get out of the spot. Okay, you watch our 12 and I'll watch our 6. That thing is going off like crazy. You have no right to follow us or attach yourself. Leave us alone. Go back to wherever you came from. You are not allowed to follow us. You cannot follow us home. You are not allowed to touch us. Look, look, look at it. I shut mine off. Mine's still going. Yep. You're not allowed to touch us. You're not allowed to use our energy. You have to stay here. It's whatever it was left. Look. Can you guys see that? Yep, it left. You gotta stay your ground. You gotta stand your ground. You cannot let them follow you home. Follow you, period. Yeah, follow you at all. You have to stay here. You cannot follow us. You cannot use our energy. You're not allowed to touch us. It's come to an end. It's right here's where it went off last time, too. Yeah. It's going. Ah, oh, I got a rock in my shoe. Doggone it. There he goes. Okay. Well, give me one second. I gotta get. Wow, that was a trip. That was crazy. That's my shoe. Yeah, you gotta stand your ground. You cannot be afraid. You have to state your facts. You just have to just straight out state your rules. And you cannot be afraid, and you have to mean it. Yep. As you guys saw with our K2 meters.
and legitimately when those were going off all the hair on my legs and arms were standing on end. Oh wow. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping down this video. That was a haunted quarry road. We did a 12 a.m. challenge up there. Uh, it was pretty uh, crazy tonight, that's for sure. Uh, we didn't hear a lot of crazy sounds, but we heard some strange stuff. Um, but anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping this video down. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Until the next adventure.